In today's video, I will teach you how to place text behind an object in PhotoP. Let's get started. First, launch PhotoP and open the image that you want to work with by selecting File, then Open. Now, we're going to add your text. Start by selecting the text tool from the toolbar or simply pressing T on your keyboard. Then click on the canvas and type the text that you want to place behind the object. Now customize the text font, size, and color using the options in the top menu. Now we're going to arrange the layers. In the Layers panel, make sure that the text layer is above the image layer. This ensures the text appears in front of the image. Now we're going to select the object. To hide the part of the text, you'll need to select the object that you want the text to appear behind. For this, you can use a selection tool like the Pen tool or Quick Selection tool to carefully outline the object in the image. For precise selections, zoom in and take your time. For the Quick Selection tool, simply click and drag over the object to select it. And for the Pen tool, click to create anchor points around the object. And after completing the path, right-click and choose Make Selection. Now we're going to create a layer mask. With the object selected, click on the image layer in the Layers panel. Then click on the Add Layer Mask button at the bottom of the Layers panel. This will apply the mask to the image, hiding everything outside the selection. Now, click on the text layer in the Layers panel and select the Add Layer Mask button again to create a mask for the text layer. Now press B to select the brush tool and choose a soft brush. Then set the foreground color to black and paint over the layer mask of the text layer to hide the parts of the text that should appear behind the object. If you accidentally hide too much, switch the brush color to white and paint over the mask areas to reveal them again. To refine your mask, zoom in on the areas where the object and text overlap. Then adjust the brush size and carefully paint along the edges to ensure a clear separation between the object and the text. And once you're satisfied with the placement of the text, you can make further adjustments to the text's color, style, or positioning. To enhance the effect, you can also add a drop shadow or other blending effects to the text to increase depth. And after you're done, save your project by going to File, then Export As, and selecting your preferred file format like JPEG and PNG. By following these steps, you'll create a visually striking design where the text appears behind an object in PhotoP, adding depth and interest to your image. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.